record to my computer and we are now recording the meeting has the the september 13th meeting of the uh, northampton open media board has started feel free to do your fun relationship check-in while i attempt to contact one of the board members who i want to get to this meeting <laughs> who wants to start um, i'll start uh I also went to Jeremy's wedding. I saw Nola there, though we didn't really see each other, but I saw Nola give a great toast there. That was really cool. Um, and um, it was an amazing time. It was a beautiful, beautiful uh, event. And then before that, I was in Maine for a while with my wife, Kathy, and that was really nice. We got sort of the end of the summer, our last little couple of days at the beach, ate some clams, hung out. It was, uh, it was very relaxing and it was nice to do. So I'm doing well. Are the leaves already turning up there? No. No, no. No, it's too early. Okay. Uh, I can I can go next. <clears throat> the big excitement in our family is we got two cats. <laughs> Certain people in this <clears throat> in this group made fun about it because we were just fostering them, and then like <laughs> one and a half weeks in, there were people trying to adopt it, and then we were like, no, we can't give them away again. It's like two one-year-old boys who are very, yeah, very social cats, very good cats. So that's the, the big event on our side. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm up. Can you hear me? We can hear you. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Hi, everybody, I'm Tim. A um, couple great things happened like this month. Um, I got... Uh, I got to perform at Marshall Brandon's birthday party. He opens for Dave Chappelle, and he had um, Brooklyn Mike open um, headline. He had Brooklyn Michael and Brooklyn Mike opens for Chris Rock. So um, because of it, I, I'm doing a show in Cincinnati uh, in October, which you know I have never performed at home in Ohio. So I'm scared because they don't know me as Tim Lovett, the comedian. They just know me as Lily. You know what I mean? They're like, boy, you ain't funny. So I'm scared that they're performing in front of my family, but I'm excited for the opportunity. So I'm having a great time so far. But who's Lily? Lily is Lily your nickname? It, well, yeah, it's in Ohio, but nobody calls me. You know, I'm only telling y'all that because y'all don't know the same people I know. <laughs> but yeah, that sounds exciting. <laughs> um, I can go next. Um, I guess nothing crazy eventful has happened too much. I went on a backpacking trip with my dad before the summer ended, which was pretty crazy. First trip I've done. Um, and I think it was probably the hardest thing I've ever done. Um, and then now I'm just starting up school and it's incredibly stressful because of college applications and things like that so um it feels like the past two weeks have gone by in a whirlwind but it's okay <laughs> yeah i assume the whole last year will just fly by <laughs> it goes quite quickly i'll go last um i don't have anything exciting we've been uh, recovering from COVID here for like three weeks. Uh, so it's been, it's not been fun, but I'm happy to be back on my feet and be able to be with you all tonight. So um, I'm, I'm happy about the trajectory. Uh, well, I have great news. I got in touch with Melissa. <laughs> so <laughs> that's good. Um, Nothing interesting has been happening with me. Today I randomly caught a cold and now I'm fighting a cold, but I'm, just, I'm on a lot of medicine. I'm here for you. Uh, and uh, yeah, so hopefully Melissa will be joining us in a few minutes. Um, but otherwise, yeah, nothing. And if you see me blowing my nose, that's just what's going on. I apologize. There's a lot of sinus pressure happening in my head right now. Um, let's take a look at the agenda for today. I'm gonna to post it in chat. Uh, should we, should I start with the minutes? Yes, yeah. if, you you wanted, if you wanna open up a minutes doc. And you, you, uh, you haven't created one yet. You're right, I hadn't created one yet. Okay. I, I forgot. 
Um, but yeah, today okay. we're going to be going over um, the typical stuff, you know, uh, talking about when we're going to have our next meeting, talking about the minutes from the last meeting, uh, Al's always amazing director's reports, uh, and then uh, some bookkeeping stuff and some more sort of planning and date setting stuff for some other things we're going to be doing uh, in October. And uh, just some updates on some different things. It's actually, this meeting is just a lot of little sort of uh, update things. So, you know, that's, that's mostly what's going on. Um, let's talk about next date and time. I'm gonna open up the calendar real quick. We usually do the second Tuesday of the month. And if we are going to continue that trend, October will be looking like October 11th at 6 p.m. How is October 11th at 6 p.m. looking to most of you? Oh, Al, I know you're always good. You don't need to tell me. <laughs> uh, cool. All right, awesome. Uh, Michael, are you looking good for the 11th? Yes, that should work for me. So I'm just trying to get the calendar to load and I'm refreshing this, no, no, that's but fine. I think it's fine. Uh, yeah, um, that'll work for me. What time, like six? Yeah, that can be, you know, we can be a little flexible with that maybe. But yeah, usually six. Okay. I'm putting it in there so I won't overbook it. Uh, cool. All right. Awesome. Throw it in my calendar. Let's. Let's pull up the August minutes. I'm gonna post those in chat as well. Okay, August minutes are in chat. Um, who would like to go through the August minutes? Someone who is there. So congratulations, Mike, you're exempt. You don't have to do it. Uh <laughs> I can quickly do that. If you'd like. Um, I think there's a few items on the agenda anyway for today. Like we had the director's report as usual. Um, uh, one item out of this was the parade, uh, which we're going to talk later. Does it make sense to go through everything in detail? Uh, not in detail. You yeah, just yeah. skim over some stuff. Just bullet point it. Uh, uh, I think one one bigger item was that we still don't have anyone for the arts trust board, but hopefully we have good news today. Um, hopefully, <laughs> where are we talking about it? Uh, then uh, board policy doc plan uh, was also that we will work again on the board policy document. Uh, I uh, which will come up today again. Uh, that we keep on pushing that, and we also talked about the strategy workshop. Uh, we had some ideas about that, and uh, the, the key word was focus on focus. <laughs> that we have something we can we can do that we we specific about what we want to achieve, and we also a good opportunity to uh, to meet in person and get to know each other a little bit. Uh, then the recognition of Mary Ellis came up. Uh, so you have seen anyway uh, the email I sent out to find the date. Uh, it's also on the agenda for today. We already talked about the trust trailer. It was a very <laughs> tight meeting last time, which was good. Good. Uh, then, then I have a motion to uh, accept the meeting minutes from August. Anyone seconding? Second. Yeah, second. Yeah. 
Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Okay, cool. We've accepted those meeting minutes. I should have asked before we did the motion, just if anyone had any questions about it, but I feel like nobody was going to be shy, right? Uh, but uh, sounds good. It was a pretty streamlined, productive meeting. Ah, that's why Melissa isn't here yet. She, uh, I, text, I texted her and I was like, are you good to come to the meeting? And she was like, yes, absolutely. And then several minutes goes by. She's not here. So I text her and I'm like, so like, you're good? <laughs> then she's like, yeah, it's at 6.30, right? And I'm like, nope. <laughs> After right now. <laughs> so now, no excuse. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see the next thing on the agenda. The minutes. Oh, oh, oh. And the agenda and the agenda is oh director's report obviously um al it's all you take it away okay so i put a link to the director's report in the chat for everybody um it's also in our google drive um so it should be shared with you automatically um here's what's been going on the last month um this week the city opened up um applications for arpa grants so there's $4 million of money that the city has that they're going to uh, listen to various uh, grantees for various projects. Um, we've been drafting a couple hundred thousand dollars in requests to submit to that. So for the next month, um, I'll be working on uh, getting that ARPA uh, application out to the city. Um, we feel like we have a pretty good chance at, at securing some ARPA money because a lot of um, our ask sort of meets a lot of what the ARPA standards are. Um, we're, we're talking about things that are um, that are, aren't ongoing support, but that have lasting impact and that um, are related directly to things like government transparency. Um, so uh, hopefully we'll be able to generate some revenue from that, um, some funding for some for some capital projects is essentially what we're applying for. Um, there are a lot of staff days off this month at being the end of the summer, so it's been both a busy uh, time one, for us. One oh, question. Does the upper grant need to be additional activity or can it be like, do we need to spend the money or is it, can we use this to? No, it's specific. It's, it's specific to, to, to a certain expenditure. It's not, it's not free money if that's what you're asking. Yeah, but we cannot use it to like, there's no activities we have in the portfolio, which we could cover by this to save a little bit of money um no i don't think so it's all new activities yeah um but it's capacity expanding for us is what it is okay um there were a lot of staff days off this month so it's been a busy time it's been a bit of a crunch just to get all of our business done um but i think staff feels uh fresh also for that reason um I haven't gotten you those capital items that I meant to get you last month, so hopefully you'll see them in the next couple of weeks um, for, for a couple of, of extra items for staff, namely laptops and some modifications to our server. Um, I had a conversation with Colleen Keough. This is going some time back, but Colleen Keough is an assistant professor or a professor at UMass um, who teaches video art, and um, she's also someone who received a NOM grant um, in the last years, um, and so we're talking to Colleen about about a new offering in terms of classes for membership at NAM, which would be a, a multi-week video art class. Um, we're sort of uh, beginning to, to rediscover that discussion. It's something we started before the pandemic started. And now that things seem to be at least um, a little bit more open, then we're gonna, we're gonna revisit that and see if we can uh, make that happen in 2023. We had our last Cinema Northampton screening, Return of the Jedi for the summer. Um, and have been wrapping up in more Star Wars news, the last, the last of the crowdsource scenes. Um, we're shooting uh, the last of them Thursday, and there's some a few more that are out in the what we call the lightning round. The lightning round means that um, there are people who um, volunteer to take over the and finish the production of scenes that other people um, maybe let drop over the summer. So we're finishing up that, and we're starting to roll out publicity for the premiere, which is on October 14th. Um, Vermont will be showing their film in September. Boston will be showing their film in December. Um, and that should wrap up crowdsource, crowdsource for the year. Uh, we covered a 
great sheriff's primary debate this month. Um, it was really well attended. We had a great viewership for it. Uh, it was in partnership with the League of Women Voters uh, from both Northampton and Amherst, um, as the sheriff's position is, um, it, you know, is crossing a number of communities. Um, we also had help from Amherst Open or from Amherst Media. They they lent us some staff as well and helped us produce that. Um, in addition, we had it translated into Spanish. Um, well, we didn't have it translated into Spanish, but the League of Women Voters had it translated into Spanish um, with Spanish audio, and we were able to uh, marry that audio to the video, and we put up two different versions of it, so Spanish-speaking populations could watch it as well in, in Spanish. Um, we're we're looking. Do you have, a, do you have an yeah. idea how many people are watching? The um, it was there were about a thousand people who watched it last check. Um, it was only it was about 150 people live, but about, about a thousand people watched that video. I haven't checked in on the Spanish um, version, which we uploaded. That was uploaded a couple of days later, and I haven't looked at the numbers for that. But um, but they were trending pretty well. Um, and it was a bit of a contentious, um, you know, sh the share sheriff's position isn't something maybe um, uh, a lot of people. It's not as high profile, I guess, as a lot of other as a lot of a lot of other um, elected positions. But this became quite a quite an interesting um, um, race, and we were happy to be participating in it and provide people with the kind of eyes on it that maybe they have not had in past years. Um, it was also really great. I could just add to to work with both leagues of women voters um, across lines and with with other uh, community media centers as well. Um, we're going to meet with the city to discuss um, partnering and producing a marketing video for the city. So the city is is going to produce some kind of marketing video um, to try to drive business to the city of Northampton. Um, we're not we haven't established what our role is going to be in that. It could be as much as a full partner with the city. Um, it could involve the city providing us with some funds to complete the project. Um, we that's a pending meeting that that I'm going to be having on Thursday. Um, that we'll have our first meeting to talk about that. Um, but it is, uh, you know, potentially a large project for us um, to do some marketing uh, for Northampton in general. There's no, like, in the past we talked about uh, when Norm is going into the production to compete yeah. with local filmmakers. Yeah. Is there, do we have a clear guideline on, like, this seems like a big project. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's hard. The scope of the project is something we'll know more after Thursday. We don't necessarily have a clear guideline to when we do that or we don't. I guess the clear guideline in the past has been that we don't pursue it. Um, in other words, we're not out advertising our services, but when people do come to us and, and and inquire about it directly, it's something where we have had conversations and um, most of the partners we've had in that have either been municipal or they're people who can't find other partners to participate in it. Um, so it's hard to say. Um, like that, that would be one that the city is a major sponsor, yeah. so we need them. So that might might qualify. It's just that it's it. You know, when when the city's coming to it, it's there's a lot of gray area. Like a lot of things we do, this is these are the, where the gray areas pop up. And so with the city, it's something where as a community organization that's so dedicated to the city, you know, there's also a question of whether it makes sense for us to to do this, you know. To be helpful to the city in general, simply because it aligns so closely with our mission. And so, when things align very closely with our mission, it becomes the gray area gets a little bit more gray in terms yeah. of, of our participation. And so, um, uh, you know, and I, I feel like my sense of the city so far is, you know, they're very open to 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 where to how we feel about it. In other words, how much participation we want to have alongside of them, but we also do want to be helpful. So. Yeah. Um, it's so a, that's where it's a good way of positioning norm in, in with the city of course yeah of course yeah. um we produce performance again this year um in past years called trans performance um it was a it was a long day it was actually kind of a fun long production day um if you've done any really large productions um, sometimes they can be great when there are a lot of work i don't know how else to explain that but it was bookended by rain on both sides you know that um, we didn't think it was going to happen. We did an enormous amount of setup before it started, and then uh, the rain shut itself off right before it started. 
Um, this was another great um, collaborative production because we had assistance from both East Hampton Media and from and, and from Frontier Television, which is out of Deerfield. And they provided us with a lot of crew. It's a long, it's a six hour day of shooting, um, plus a couple of hours on each side of both setup and, and breakdown. And uh, it looked really great. It sounded really great and we were, we were really happy with it. Um, we also simulcast the film Mosaic in conjunction with its showing at the Academy of Music by the Northampton Community Care Department. Um, so the Northampton Community Care Department um, is, is doing these monthly film screenings um, to raise awareness on various topics in the community. They're inviting some people to at the film screenings to have a Q&A as well. I don't think there was a Q&A for, for this one. Um, we, we essentially ran the film in conjunction with the screening at the Academy of Music. So for people who couldn't come to the Academy of Music and attend it, um, they could turn on Northampton Open Media and they could they could watch it um, simultaneously with that group at the Academy. Um, and then just some upcoming things that are that are going to be happening in the next month. Next month, we have a bunch of fall classes that are starting up again. Um, we've had good increase into those, so um, hopefully they'll be well attended. Um, it's nice to hear people uh, wanting to take classes again. Um, the Doozy Doe Parade, which is this Saturday, um, we'll be streaming that live. Uh, the Easy Grant Exchange Show. So um, Easy Grants are given out to local artists through the Arts Council. Um, exchange is sort of this multidisciplinary dance program that's happening. Um, and the tickets are, the, all, of the, all of the money that's raised through tickets are going to be um, used to seed this fund. So we help to, to seed the city's arts fund um, by helping produce that, that content as well. Um, we're assisting an oral history recording class at Forbes Library. This is part of a grant that Forbes got some time ago. So actually this will generate some money for us as well. We were part of that grant in terms of um, doing some instructional work. And so we'll be there to, um, to oversee some training and some people actually doing some, some recordings of oral histories in the community at Forbes Library this month. Um, it says potentially here, but we actually are gonna be uh, also recording the Center for New Americans annual meeting and uh, likely the next community care school screening as well. And that's our month. Uh, do you want to do the finance <laughs> overview? Right, yeah. I think it's a good fit. Sure. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna throw this up in chat as well. Oh, real quick, Florian, did yeah. you start a Google Doc for the minutes when you started yes. doing them? And, can you send that to Melissa so she can? She, she's already working on it. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Never mind. Forgot to say anything. Um, Thanks for starting that, Florian. Sorry, everybody. I had this on my calendar at 630 and I was wondering why Alex was texting me. I was like, <laughs> anyway, I'm really sorry. I have it on my, on my calendar on the 11th at six. So it's good. Um, so in this link, this is the Q2, Q1 and Q2 uh, budget versus actual um, P&L. Um, for Northampton Open Media, um, there's a couple. There's two different tabs here. One of the tabs is um, is a little bit more detail, and one of them is entitled Board Summary. Uh, the Board Summary takes the information in the in the more detailed version and breaks it down into into broader categories um, for everyone to see. Um, this is breaking out uh, our previous fiscal year in one column, as well as our quarter one. Uh, we're on an, we're on a, a yearly calendar or a, um, our fiscal calendar is a year a yearly calendar. So um, January to March is our first fiscal quarter. Um, so you'll see quarter one and quarter two reportings of actual expenditures, um, the totals as well of those quarters. And then on the right, um, the full year budget numbers as well as the percentages of those budget numbers that we've spent so far. Um, uh, Melissa has yeah. a question. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, just really quickly, because yeah. um, I'm just never sure how how detailed should my notes be when we're talking about like financial spreadsheets? Does anyone have an answer? 
Well, er. Um, your your notes you can you can use the um, you can use the actual spreadsheet as part of the minutes as a document. Okay. Of minutes. And on link link it there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And and like we're not everything is public, right? So we're not worried about anything like that. There is no information in there which is not yeah. public. Okay. It's not supposed to be shared. Uh, Okay. I was actually Thanks. wondering about this as well. Like when I looked at the budget, if you have to find the document in a different budget and there's no link, it's it's hard to figure out what was the approved budget and well, what was the approved document. So okay. I don't know if it's too much work, but I think it would be good just to copy a, 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 sh a shot of the. I, I think in this case, for example, the board summary is what the intention was. We wanted to present here. Uh, I, if we can copy and paste this into the minute, I think it's it gives a more complete picture. And because that's okay. what we have to do. I linked the spreadsheet in to the minutes. Do you think that's good enough? Or or I can take some notes too. Okay. Uh, I would copy. I, I don't know if I've never worked with Google. What is it? The tables that, that it's, you yeah. grab a screenshot. A, a shot of the, okay. the figures that they are there, they kind of hard coded in if it's possible. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have the numbers frozen. Okay. Other questions before I? Okay. So, um, you know the the general categories here in the and and I'm referring to the to the board summary here um, in terms of income, uh, Comcast fee, donations, production, and other income. Comcast fee, as you can uh, readily see, is the large chunk of our income. Um, this is the revenue that's generated through the city's contract with the cable provider Comcast in the city of Northampton. Um, this is the money that comes from the contract that the city negotiates. It's the it's the large chunk of our funding and how uh, most community media centers are, 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 are funded. It's um, the majority of, of community media center budgets generally. Um, donations be, uh, include um, our Patreon um, efforts, as well as any other donations that might come um, along the way. People might write us a check here and there to just uh, give us some money. Um, but a big chunk of this is, is, is our Patreon. Production is production. Um, is production revenue. So if we do, uh, for instance, we talked a little bit about uh, a video for the city today. Um, it could be any number of sort of production projects that we've taken on um, along the way. Um, it was uh, a big quarter for us in, in that way. Um, and then other income is just anything else that might come along. So this includes, um, and going back to the this might include things like um, rebate payments we get as paybacks, so we have to code them into accounting um, under something. Any rental income for people who are renting uh, gear from us um, will appear inside of our income. Um, so these are numbers for the quarters as well as our full year. Um, we're doing we're doing we're on track fairly well here. Um, we're at fifty six percent of our budget halfway through the year. Um, so um, we are certainly on track to meet our projections in terms of income uh, for the year. Um, are there any? Yeah, I, I think the the question we talked about before in production yeah. and is this is it is an outlier or is this like just happening or do you expect more? Like, you, it's, do you have an idea what's going to happen in the last two quarters or is this? I think it's just an outlier. I think there's just a lot of people. A lot of things sort of came due for people. Um, at a similar time, I, I don't think we're going to see another seven thousand dollars in in production revenue over the, over the second half of the year. But it is hard to say. It's it's such a small number in our budget that if we get one item, you know, if we were to go and and get engage in some large um, arrangement with the city to do some marketing videos, and it represented a substantial amount of money, that would be very hard for us to predict happening. So things can things can come along and change that number pretty easily. Um, okay, so 
Um, for expenses, um, these categories, general business personnel, et cetera. Um, general business expenses are things like um, our, our accountants who do our taxes, um, any legal um, fees we may have, uh, insurance costs related to um, the organization's liability and the board of directors. Um, those are all inside of general business. Um, personnel is payroll, as well as health insurance, as well as um, life insurance for staff, as well as um, professional development. Um, those are inside of personnel. Um, activities and promotions is kind of, um, is, is essentially our marketing budget. Uh, we do a lot of event marketing. And so things like crowdsource cinema fall inside of our marketing budget, um, as well as things like any Facebook ads that we may take out. Um, and so that's why it's termed activities and production promotions, because a lot of the things that we do and, and consider marketing are actually events inside of the community that raise awareness. Um, Cinema Northampton is another example. Uh, grants, grants include our production grants, as well as um, Northampton High School scholarships that we give out every year. Um, equipment and supplies is sort of just what it sounds like. It's production expense, production supplies that are not capital expenses. On the, on the grants? The yeah. question, is this something yeah. which is happening towards the end of the year or when is this happening? Yeah, the grants are going to happen towards the end of the year this year. That's why you don't see them um, okay. in the first two quarters. Yep. The, the $1,500 in that you see in the grants in quarter two is the scholarships, Northampton High School scholarships um, for seniors at the, um, in the spring semester who graduated. That's when they're given away. Um, rent and utilities. Um, Rent and utilities is, again, as it seems, it's rent as well as things like telephone and internet um, and electricity, et cetera. Um, that's all inside of rent and utilities and other expenses, anything that doesn't fall inside of that, that includes anything that we have for travel and conferences as well as a district, the director's discretionary budget. That's the, um, that's essentially all of the other expenses. Uh, similarly, we're in, we're, on track in terms of our spending this year. Uh, we're actually right at 50% halfway through the year of what we budgeted. Um, we're on track to be in the black for the year. We you know, we budgeted to be about $20,000 in the black. And we're already at about $35,000 in the black. Um, there are some items, I know Florian had sent me in discussion of the budget, one question in terms of um, our general business numbers. If you look at our previous year, compared to our budget for this year, there's a difference about $30,000 in that general business fund. And the reason for that is that our rent was inside the general business fund last year and, and rent for, for accounting for the previous fiscal year. And, um, and we can shift that um, and we can adjust previous fiscal year in terms of how that math was calculated. In other words, these columns refer to, to, to other documents. And so in this calculation for the previous year, rent was included, whereas, um, for this fiscal year, rent is in a different category or is in a different area. Thank you. Um, there's also a couple of other small details. If you look inside the budget, um, the detail budget um, that haven't just haven't been recoded yet. Um, one of them is that uh, there's a line item for our support for NHS technology. So in other words, we do a lot of buying of supplies for the NHS technology program and that's that's a little bit miscoded so that's there's a discrepancy about of about twenty five hundred dollars inside of the detail budget um and it's just misplaced um so it's not it's not um it's it's it doesn't appear here right now so i'll need to go in and just make that correction there's also a three hundred dollars in the income side that's for um that's bank interests is what that is um so that'll get coded into other income Um, any questions on the expense side or anything else in the finance document? Yeah. Um, well, I just want to say that um, I really appreciate you putting together the board summary, which I I don't remember you doing in the past and it makes it easier to read. And I just really appreciate that work. So thank you. Yeah. And that's, I mean, uh, Florian deserves a real uh, spotlight for that one. It's, this is his part Yay. of this Thanks project for to make that. this more. Yeah. That's great. We try to get it on the agenda. We have it next month again with quarter three as we're a little bit behind the plan. 
this time. Uh, yeah, and I think that was the idea behind this this conversation. Yeah. Um, one of the thing I, I'd note, which is interesting, um, I don't know how significant it is, but our revenue has been going up very slightly. Um, and the only reason I mention that is it, it hasn't done that in many, many years. It's been trending uh, down or flat for some time. And so I, I, I'm not sure there's a, there's a small discussion about this going on in, in the community media world, meaning other people are experiencing this. It could be just that Comcast has raised rates in certain ways, and it may not even be on the home subscriber. It could be in terms of local advertising or something. Um, and it's not a lot of money. So it's not like a windfall. It's a couple of thousand dollars. But there is a, there is a it's nice to see a little bit of a trend. Up. It's, it's not going down. <laughs> it's not going down. That's a good sign. Yeah. It's, it's probably going down related to inflation, but it's not going down mm -hmm. as a hard number. Um, so I was just curious, sorry if you hear the crazy storm outside right now. I don't know if you guys have that at the moment, but um, I was wondering what you said about the NHS technology, $250. That was like money that was supposed to be for the program or it wasn't supposed to be for the program and the program has it? Or I was just wondering if you can clarify. Yeah, it just means that there's encoding which which bucket that money falls into. It's just not, it's not currently coded correctly. There's $2,500 budgeted for that program. And we've expended, we're, we're already, we're more than halfway through expending that for the program. So it's still there for the program and is being expended for the program. It's just that the okay. accounting side is not coded for it correctly. It was, it was put, they were put into two different, um, two different item numbers. So the budget is in one place and the, and the expenses in the other place and they should be in the okay. same place. Okay. Thank you for clarifying. Yeah. Okay, right. cool. What, what, uh, let's see, you uh, need, I do you need one, from us one now? Addition, sorry, uh, one addition which fits with this, we also have uh, trying to set up, uh, we still have the topic of the audit open uh, and we're, we're working on this again uh, with the with the tech season. This was a little bit difficult and then over the summer, not much happened. I think there's a little bit of tricky situation for now. Um, uh, that it's too small. That was the feedback L got from a few uh, offices he inquired with that they're interested in working with us. So we're we, we are following this up. Next step would be to meet with the accountant and talk with him and see what we can do. But it's that's, that's on the list. I'm sorry, I missed what is this regarding? We, uh, we, we have to do an audit of the organization, oh, the of okay. the financial side. And that's what we try to line up that we can set the next steps. Great, I missed that crucial word audit. Okay, great. That is important, yes. <laughs> uh, all right. So are we good to move on to the next thing? Cool. Okay. Um, Let's see here. I wanted to touch on uh, board member contact information. Uh, and after looking at it earlier, uh, this is just to make sure everybody has their contact info in here. Um, I'm posting it in chat. And I think, I think we just need a phone number from Michael. I think that's really the only important thing we're missing. Beyond that, we're in pretty good shape unless somebody spots something that I'm not seeing. Melissa, what's up? Um, <laughs> I was just wondering when it says that a term expires in a year, does that mean the beginning of the year or the end of the year? Oh, I need to check the bylaws for that. That's a good question. Alan's saying the beginning. Are you saying the beginning? The end. You're saying the end. Okay. okay. I, was just... I, I would think the end is where, like, uh, the elected members, I, I, it comes later on in the, in the document, uh, we should have the general meeting of assembly, I don't know what the exact mm -hmm. name is, everyone where the new, uh, new board members are elected, and that should happen in November. 
uh, and then then they should be assigned with the December meeting kind of yeah. or the yeah. Gen January meeting. So it's the end of the year in my. It's opinion. the end. Okay. Yeah. Yep. It's definitely linked to the annual meeting. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, okay. But uh, yeah, otherwise, uh, just feel free to check that um, spreadsheet and make sure that your info in that is correct so that we've got all everybody's proper info. Uh, I know Al had brought that up at the last meeting, so I just wanted to check in with everybody. Um, I just uh, sent my number over to you all. Um, sorry, I wasn't sure where the spreadsheet was to add it. I apologize. <laughs> That's um, okay. I, uh, I posted it in chat. Uh, of this of the zoom but um it should be in there but i can also if you sent it over there we go no I'll, I'll add it in you don't have to do the work i got it no that's fine <laughs> um but i but yeah i think that was the only major thing in there um as long as all the other info is correct for everybody um okay let's go to the next thing um all right Arts trust position. <laughs> um, Al, did you get in touch with Cynthia about that? I did not. I did not talk to Cynthia about the arts trust position okay. yet. Um, I'll put that at the top of my to do list here. And actually, I was going to talk to Tim about that too, just to see if Tim had questions about it. Right. So, Tim, you and I can set up time if you still are interested in talking about that um, or finding out about it. But I'll reach out to Cynthia as well. All right. I'm sorry. I couldn't. Uh, everybody's breaking up. But I did not see my I did not see my uh, name or, or info in a document. I just said because I'm on my phone, so I'm trying to like go, you know, go between. Two Maybe you said. Were you still interested? I'm trying to remember if you were still interested in the arts trust at all and being talking about that being on that board position, or if you were maybe you had said no to that. Well, I, I wanted I wanted to know what it would entail. I don't want to. Um, yeah. And my, my thing is, I didn't want to take on too much. You know what I mean? Yeah. At one time, but I mean, if you need me to take one for the team, man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I I just I just want to make sure I touch base with everyone who's interested in, in it. That's all. Um. Actually, I um um. I'll come see you this week and we can talk about it. I mean, like in person or whatever. All right, you can, I'm sorry, you can, uh, you can move on. <laughs> oh, uh, but no, Tim, as to the spreadsheet, because I, yeah, yeah. I forgot you were on your phone, so you won't be able to see chat. <laughs> Duh. Yeah. Um, but looking at your info in there, you should be all good. Um, we've got okay. email, uh, phone number, uh, address from you. So I think we're, I think we're okay. all set. Um, all right. So, okay. Well, let's see here. Oh, ba, 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 ba. we had, oh yeah, the parade. Um, so the parade is this weekend, as Al pointed out. Um, and he had asked last meeting if anybody in the board was interested in walking in the parade, because I guess, and this is the only thing I'm not clear about, is Nam just filming the parade or walking in the parade or both uh it's both oh, okay um so in that case board members will be walking with nam i assume in the parade uh so we don't have to be our own click by ourselves so we can have we can <laughs> hang out with dave or whoever um but uh but yeah uh that is this Saturday, I sent out an email asking if anyone was interested in walking in the parade, among some other things. And no one said they were because who wants to walk in a parade? It's embarrassing. <laughs> um, no, but I will do that. Uh, I believe I have time on Saturday. Uh, I also I looked it up today uh, from 11 to 1, I think is the assumed time. Oh, uh, thank you. I was about to ask that. Uh, uh, so when, when El, you say, Someone from Nome is walking in the parade. Are there already people walking? <laughs> so the, the idea was um, staff is going to be in the parade. There'll be a couple of staff people in the parade just shooting and streaming from inside the parade. Okay. Um, and then there will also be someone who's, who's gathering some footage on the sidelines of the parade as well. Um, and so this was just um, an ask of the board if there was interest in the board being present in the parade as representing Nam, 
So the staff is there and they are walking, but they're they're kind of their position is, you know, they're, they're, because we're covering it from inside of it, just as a novelty, we are inside the parade. But our primary function is to be recording the parade, documenting the parade, whereas this would be more people being present as, you know, hey, here's what Nam is during the parade. You know, but we don't have people to do the second part yet. Right. That's right. Correct. OK. So the question is how many, like I, I looked at it and there were only organizations which we are lined up. Uh, do we have to sign up to do this? No, we, because we're, we're a media sponsor of the event and I've already talked to them about it and they're, they're fine with us. If we show up, we can, we can walk. Very good. And then the question is how efficient do we want to do this? Do we, do we, do we have a sign of no, we can. I was about carry? to ask, do we have a big sign? A we, have a, we have a, yeah, we have a big banner that, that two yeah. people could carry and walk through. Um, what is the parade? I know I missed last minute. What it's like dozy do. What does that mean? It's a good question. It's a very good question. It's a hard question to answer actually. Uh, oh, okay. It's, it's the Northampton Neighbors Association decided they wanted to have a parade. There was no, so there was some discussion that happened that I wasn't present for, but there was one example was there was no pride parade this year. There was a small one that was the original organizers of the pride parade had a very small, like 10 person parade or maybe 20 person parade. But anyway, it was no large community wide pride parade. And the North Neighbors Association was just sort of feeling like, We've had all this inside time. We haven't had a lot of community celebration out together. And so let's just have a parade for the fun of having a parade is the idea uh, to celebrate whoever wants to show up. And um, so it's not, it's kind of a parade for no reason, I guess, but it's not really no reason. It's to celebrate the community. So that's the reason. All right. That's um, kind of awesome. I mean, I um, I would. So it's 11 to 1. Oh, yeah, I think the parade okay. starts at 11. I just posted the link to the website in there, uh, in the chat. Um, I can I can go too, Alex. Nice. I, it won't I would just be me like, carrying one end of the banner. Yeah. Okay. You and I can carry that. Let me write it in my calendar. I I, 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 I also plan to attend. I have it on the calendar, and I hope to convince my wife that she walks with me for if the weather is nice. I'm sure she's up for it. You know, I mean, that's my thing, man. Just walking and I mean, just, you know, I mean, making an ass out of myself. That's what I do. I mean. I'm sorry to say that I cannot join you. And I'm also disappointing my colleagues on the school committee who are going to be in the parade with the banner too. But like four months ago, I signed up to do some state required Massachusetts school committee training in Pittsfield on Saturday the 17th and uh, did not know a doozy do parade was gonna happen. So my apologies. Uh, what what do you consider you. more important? No, yes. <laughs> I would much rather not drive to Pittsfield to sit in a high school for, for eight hours. I would much rather <laughs> be with you all at the parade, but um, I, I don't know what the consequences if I delay this any longer. Uh, <laughs> Oh, where do we meet for the, should we meet at NOM? Does that make sense? At Holly Street? Yeah, it starts at Holly Street anyway. So oh, uh, nice. Okay, great. I'm there. I'll be there. All right. Do we wear something? <laughs> no. We can, right? Like, I think no we can knows kind of do whatever, you, we could do it, whatever we want, but, you know, it's just a matter, okay. it's just a okay, well, we're gonna, we could all like, dress as, as okay, importers. I don't know, but like, Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. I'll show up at eleven, ready to parade around. <laughs> okay. Excellent. All right. Um, well, fantastic. That was very successful for a parade uh, organizations thing. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see here. We already talked about capital purchases, right? Isn't that what we did, or was that just the budget stuff? There was just budget, that's a different item. You're right. Let's talk about capital purchases. I, I assume that would be you, Al. Al, you muted. I'm not sure what this referred to in the, in the um, uh, maybe it was put in the budget for last, for this month, because I expected to bring them to you. Oh, yeah, but I didn't bring to you. About the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are that's a skippable item. There's okay. it's, we're not we're not yeah. Cool. 
Yep. Um, all right. Uh, moving on to the next thing, the strategy workshop that wants to happen in October. Um, we're going to do an October weekend, I think in an afternoon, uh, probably at Holly Street, um, maybe a Saturday, well, Saturday or Sunday. Uh, but I just wanted to see what people were feeling in terms of um, availability for that. Um, October weekends, we have October 1st is a weekend, uh, then the 8th, 15th, 22nd, and 29th. Um, do we want to try the middle of the month, like 15th, 16th? I can't do the two middle, the 15th okay. and the 22nd weekend. Okay. But I could do the first or probably Columbus Day weekend too, but I know people usually go away, or uh, Indigenous People's Day weekend, but people go away. I'm in a wedding in West Virginia the first weekend. So I'm only available the eighth. Yeah. Then we'll be available on my the first and eighth. Yeah, I don't think I'm available on the first and the second. Okay. Do we want? Maybe we could do like a doodle poll or something so that all of our information is organized. That's yeah. We I, I know you love those doodle polls. Oh, gosh. No. Um. Yeah. No. I can put one out. That's not a big deal. Um. But. Is anyone not available the eighth or ninth? Yeah, I was gonna say the eighth or ninth feels like. A... Oh no! I'm oh. touring colleges. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea with that being the long weekend if I'll be here. I don't have any plans at the moment or that I remember. Um, okay. But I think I could do a, a later weekend um, in the month. <laughs> That was a big <laughs> She's angry. I know. Ooh. Please tell me someone else saw that huge strike. Yeah, that head. was insane. Wow. Yeah. That was like right in my vision out this window. Oh my goodness. Oh, the only weekend we haven't talked about is the very last weekend. 29th, 30th. 30th. Mm -hmm. I could do that either day at this moment. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. How, how long did you say this would be for? I was just like thinking an afternoon or an evening. So like probably four hours. <laughs> I, I'm, <laughs> I'm pushing for more. <laughs> yeah, no, I do well. They're classic Florian. Um, <laughs> the, uh, like, yeah. But uh, yeah, like four or five hours, something like that. So a good old good old workshop um okay so yeah i will i will send out a doodle um but i would but yeah maybe that last weekend would be good i um, think what, what we can decide is like optimum would be obviously that all people are there hmm. uh what the minimum number of people we want to have that we do something like that like I, october is already pretty much around the corner so uh I, it might it might be tight and uh, then do we open it up for later in the year or do we push for it that we just do it with less people if it's yeah. i mean if if um if people want to push it back we can i'm not super um uh like um it's dead set on having like we all have to be there it would be nice if we could all be there i would like that um but if we're missing one or two people i don't think that's that big a deal um Oh, but, uh, but okay, I'll throw out an email about it. Um, and, uh, oh, and the other part of that is just, um, obviously, we're going to be doing um, some work on uh, the, the, the board policies and stuff like that, but I'm going to break it up with uh, games and food. So if people have ideas for types of games or specific games, let me know. Uh, we can get some some board game action going on if we want, especially because if we have, oh, we're the board, we should play a board. This makes perfect sense. Uh, but no, it's also just a good number of people for that kind of thing. Uh, so 
<laughs> we can have some things to break stuff up. Uh, and I'll I vote on I vote on Monopoly. Oh come on! We do so much budget stuff already. Do we have to do Monopoly? <laughs> and we need much more than five hours. Ooh, yeah, for real. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a true, it's a true test of endurance of like how long can you really last. It's not about how good you are at the game; it's how willing you are to stay for the longest period of time. Um, okay, well, yeah, uh, definitely put that in the notes. I'm gonna send out an email, and we're gonna figure that out. But yeah, people have suggestions on uh, different fun activities to do. Um, throw them my way. Uh, let's see here. Uh, speaking of planning stuff, Florian, did you set a date for the Mary Alice dinner? Uh, there was the choice between, I was thinking the, the core team of people who were working with Mary Alice should be there. I have, we basically have two dates and one, Alex, you don't have time and one, uh, Jeremy doesn't have time. <laughs> so well, Jeremy knows her better. Prioritize him. <laughs> Oh, like that that's what I wanted to get at. I yeah. can look up the date then. Uh, it was so you say you then it's the twenty second of September. The twenty second of September, let me check. 22nd of September. Um, oh yeah. Okay. So I just have a, a hard out at like, I mean, depending on where we are, like 7.30 or 7. Um, so like depending on how long I have to travel to get to my thing. Um, so if we're doing something earlier in the evening, yeah, I'm good. If you want to do oh. something at like 6 or 5, I'm fine with that. Yeah, the idea was to start at around six, but I check in with her. Okay. Like she, she had, she, uh, this is still, we could meet outside at the Strong Avenue and so on, but I check in with her. We see what the weather is like a week before. But if yeah. you could all mark the 22nd and um, uh, then we let's do that. Sure. Yeah. I have worst case scenario, I'll just have to leave early, but that's fine. Mark. Perfect. Perfect. Um, sounds great. Cool. Uh, oh, gosh. Am I the one who put in the update board policy and document thing into the minutes? No, I did. Oh, good, because I didn't remember that at all. And I was like, how sick have I gotten? I'm just, don't. Okay, please, yeah. what's up with that? Uh, I just wanted to share like a, a quick little thing. I started filling out the calendar. I, I started putting in. Uh, I, give me a second that I send you the, the document. Where is it? I don't know where we put the board is working on it today. Strategy report, board media policies. Oh, I think I have it. Oh, it's uh, is it this one? Oh, here it is. Sorry, I can post it in the chat as well. Uh, basically, it's just a little little work I did there. I think whatever page it is. If you scroll down a little bit, there's a yearly task calendar. Uh, and I try to go first of all that we know when the the, the quarter defiance overview is, and I try to put in some other items. Uh, that the annual meeting, according to our uh, bylaws, should be in November or latest December, and then in the meeting following is the election of the officers. Are there any other tasks you're aware of we have to do on a regular basis? I was actually surprised that this is it was le less than I expected. Let's see. I mean, off the top of my head now. Um, uh, Al, do you recall anything? Okay. Like, yeah, there might be a few items uh, coming up, like with the uh, with different committees we have been talking about, but maybe that's the outcome out of the workshop. Uh, I don't know. We can we can see, but this was just an idea that we have something where we can look at what are the the regular tasks coming up. 
and that's it. I, I, I keep it short. <laughs> okay, cool. And yeah, this is a this is a document. This is one of the things we're going to be working on at the workshop. This is the, the non board game thing that we'll do in between the board games. <laughs> um, but uh, cool. Okay, uh, that sounds good. Anything else? Any questions, comments, concerns from anybody about anything related to Nam or not? You know, I. Very good. Cool. All right. Uh, well, productive yeah. meeting. Thanks, everybody. Oh, Florian, what you got? No, no, no. Then I would move to a, a motion to adjourn the, the official meeting. I second. Cool. All those in favor of adjourning the September board meeting? Aye. Aye. Excellent. Passes. The meeting is adjourned. Perfect. Thank you so much.